Hello everybody, welcome to Nigo Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I hope everybody had a great Easter weekend and their week is commencing nicely. I'm going to do a nice combination of Oracle and then pull some tarot on these for clarification because I love them, but they're very vast topics and I kind of want to hone in on what's coming in for you. I feel like April is a super powerful month for using one's gifts, um, learning, discovery, new experiences, new kinds of stimulation, and really restoring order and peace and beauty to our world, you know, because things start to open up. It's like everything is blooming and blossoming and warming. And I feel like it is an, it's just a natural evolution to, ah, let in all of this stuff, presence and tenderness and warmth and aliveness and lightness, fun, spontaneity, all of those wonderful things just really coming in for everybody. So let's look at power and I'm going to pull two for each of these. Wow, we like this. We got the King of Swords and the Empress really wonderful. So again, zooming into our power, you know, representing our best selves, discovering new possibilities. But this is also a lot of consideration for others and ourselves. This is honoring ourselves and others, respect, dignity, validation for our needs and others to matter, where we stop and pause. When we have Empress energy, it is warm and giving, reflective, but super observant, like what does my entire, <laughs> you know, nation need? What does my community need? What is going to instill growth and um, security? And I feel like there's strong movement in this capacity where you're able to do this, especially with the knowledge card. You're going to be just, you know, podcasting and reading up on these little tidbits that enrich and help you. You know, it's like nutrition for your next stage. And it's really going to bring in some beautiful structure. Empress and King of Swords definitely likes that. Reliability. You're, you're really doing what you say you're going to do for yourself and others, which is beautiful. And it opens up more freedom and choice because it's like, no, I decided I am going to do this, but I don't have to say yes to everything. Just the good things, just the things that make me feel great and also are mutually helpful for everybody. You know, lots of self-expression and creativity and individuality right now and a lot of support and encouragement for yourself and others. So I love that is beautiful for you. Let's see what's going on in terms of knowledge. Wow, I love this. So this knowledge that you have, I like this and this is important in the two of swords. You just have a choice to make. It's like, I am going to be proactive about this knowledge and I'm going to recognize what really fills up all of these cups for me. I'm not going to sit there in some kind of scrolling stupor or um, overthinking things and driving myself crazy. The moment a thought pops into your head and it's a good one, you're going to be super proactive about it. Those shoes are going to be on. You're going to be out the door for a walk. You're going to call that friend. You're going to start to write that chapter. This is really a time of um, order, peace, and cooperation of your mind, body, spirit. Everything working together. You making beautiful choices self-connection, nurturing, validation, awareness, self-worth, all of those things really, really heightened right now for you. You know, your ideas, your hope, your faith, flow, things that matter to you, you're really going for it. And you're going to, you're going to educate yourself on those things and also use your knowledge that's already in that lovely mind of yours to go out and really help you flourish in a wonderful way. Like I have never not had an absolute fantastic day when I've gone to the farm in the nature center. That is replenishing. It is nurturing. It helps me process, let go. Um, it makes me feel free. It, it is just one of those things. So recognize, maybe write one or two of these things down that do that for you, that really just lift and they let go of everything else that is heavy. You just, whoo, all the treasures wash up on your shore. You get what you need in terms of the smell of nature. Sometimes it's the ocean. There are environments that I truly believe are so healing for us and think what that is for you. And you're going to be venturing there and just feel that huge ah moment. Like what was I even sweating? I heard this thing yesterday and I went, this is so true. Never has a generation had everything, but wanted even more. You know what I mean? 
they've had so much and and they just are still wanting where when we think back of our parents generation they didn't always have to go out every day that they had off shopping into arcades and to distractions like they watched a little tv they read a book they had some good tea they played a family game it was simpler and it was much more like cozy because they weren't always chasing everything they didn't think they needed more and more and more granted there was not you know social media where everybody thinks they have to be seen in every fabulous location on the planet and And that's kind of sad because it does take away, if we're always wanting, we're definitely not content in our circumstances because we're always looking to tomorrow for the joy instead of right now and having it enhanced. And that's something that you're learning to do beautifully. Just honor the stillness and gorgeousness of a park. All of those things that just bring that big ah moment for you, which I love. So let's check into focus and see what that is going to bring for you. Oh, I love this. We got a little nine of coins, a little wealth. Wow, nine and page. So let's just talk about that. I feel like for a lot of you, you're focused on bringing in some bank, bringing in some coins. You're going to have some fantastic ideas that come your way. Really focus on them. Be proactive. Be like, I see where this could really be lucrative. And let me implement some steps and how I'm going to do this. Like I'm blown away on some people's just simple premise of making something. And now that we have the internet, we can promote and talk about and connect so much. Any, you know, art, jewelry, ideas, everything. But it's really going to be this thing where this idea just instigates this inner entrepreneur. And you're like, this really feels like people are acknowledging this wonderful, you know, artistic endeavor. And it's going to be fun and spontaneous. And it's going to really help you feel alive. Not to mention that you're going to feel, oh, my bank my bank account is plumping up a little bit. Sometimes, you know, we think right away, oh, I love this idea and I think it would be great. But for whatever reason, we talk ourselves out of a great idea. We'll listen to people that are like, oh, but you'd have to do this. It'll take this much time, this and that. If it really makes your heart jump and you get excited, go for it. The, The wonderful thing about the internet is we really don't have to have the brick and mortar. We don't have to have this money down. We don't have to have this. It's an idea you know, and we make one wonderful little rough copy of something and, and then you're just off and running and watch it flourish. I just feel like it's a beautiful idea this time. Everything's going to inspire you and you're going to just feel really excited about life, which is wonderful. Honor that, you know, acknowledge, acknowledge as a community out there that really wants to see what you're creating. And, um, it's great. You're going to be also seen for your intentions, which are good and people appreciate that. And you're going to get some lovely recognition for that. And, you know, it's just going to be warm and welcoming and enrich your life in a wonderful way. So my beauties, that is what you were meant to hear today. If you haven't subscribed, just hit that button. It's free. I don't do commercials. You know, I just get right into it for all of y'all. And um, I feel like it's a nice uplifting way to begin our days. So love and light, everyone.